What's up YouTube? It's JB Tech Fanatic and I'm back again with another video. As always, let me start this video by thanking each and every one of you for your support. I would be absolutely honored if you'd consider subscribing to my channel if you have not yet. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up icon. And if you want to know when the latest content is available, be sure to click the notification icon so it lets you know when I put out new content. If you've been following my channel, you know that I've been talking about the Bose Sound Touch 300, the new Bose 700. Um, we've been just kind of going through Bose products. I want to let you all know I do not work for Bose. They do not sponsor me. Um, this is all purchased with my own money, and these are all my own thoughts and opinions. Now, in front of me, I have a product that's been around forever. It actually initially came out in 1985, and I noticed it's still very popular. And it got me thinking, so what I did was is I actually bought this product. Uh, it's been about a month now since I've purchased it. I've been using it. I've been really putting it through its paces so that I can relay what my honest opinion is to you guys. Now, I recorded my unboxing, so we'll start with the unboxing, and then from there, we'll go through step-by-step -step setup, and we'll show you how to get up and running with, yes, you're going to hear this right, your SoundTouch 300. It's something that no one really talks about, but I think it is a huge benefit. If you like multi-room audio, but you still want to have a CD player slash alarm clock, something that's been around for a while that sounds really good, guess what? The sound touch actually all meshes together. Yes, you can use it with your TV. Yes, you can use it with your music. Yes, you can use it with your Bluetooth music or the streaming services that are supported by Bose. So you kind of get this all-in-one environment which i call multi-room audio and you can do it with power that only this system can bring now this has been something that i have of course seen since i was a kid and you know i've always heard about them but i have never owned one and what finally got me to budge on it was that that i could actually hook it up with my sound touch 300 and even though i have the 700 now i still again Love the SoundTouch 300, and this makes me love it more. Now, this is only the fourth version of the Wave Radio, which tells you it's not that you have to necessarily worry so much with Bose about if I buy something this year, next year it's outdated. I feel that even when the new stuff comes out, I mean, they have uses for this, meaning when you have the SoundTouch 300 and you, you're not ready maybe to upgrade to the 700, then you can continue to build onto your 300 experience, and that's what I want to do today. So let's go ahead. We'll go through the unboxing. We'll check that out. All right, real quick unboxing. So just so you know, inside the box, you should get the system, obviously, the Wave Sound Touch. So you get an 8-foot power cord and then an IR remote, and that is what is included. As you can see on the front here, it says that it has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi certified. And then, of course, you see the little Sound Touch icon. This, again, will hook up with the Sound Touch um, system. So the Sound Touch 300 is what I'm referring to. Now, the box is pretty simple presentation. It's a fairly good size. It doesn't really say much, but it does tell you the contents that we just took about, talked about. Sorry, shows a few pictures. And more or less the same kind of explains. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead, make sure we can see this here, cut that open, get this part kind of skip over, all right, all right, so basically it's going to give us some easy instructions, everything's going to fall out on me, so let's go ahead and get this out. All right, so we get a demonstration CD. I didn't see that listed. Then the setup manuals, we'll look at that. Basically, you got your old school cell phone charging cable there, and then, of course, the power cable. Now, Bose always does a great job with packaging. However, I will say, out of all the Bose products I've owned, I've never seen this plastic covering. So it looks like the bottom 
portion is separate. So, so far, I got the main unit there. Got our little remote here, kind of cool. And I'm assuming this will be the bottom portion here. So let's cut this open. All right, so I just had to cut the tape there. Now, okay, so definite bottom portion. I'm gonna get all this taken out and we'll take a close look. All right, so first we have the back here. Here you see where you connect to Wi-Fi. You have your ethernet. And then of course you have an auxiliary port. It looks like a USB port here, a service port. And then this is how you connect it to the main unit here. All right, so I unwrapped the main unit. Certainly much heavier, of course. You see the speakers here. Let's get a close up on those speakers. Waveguide technology basically goes through the unit here. And then on the back, we have the power. Um, it does actually have a headphone jack, which is nice if you, you know, want to use your headphones. Auxiliary in. It does have the Bose link port on there, which I find pretty cool. And then, of course, the FM antenna, which is nice because not only can you listen to old school CDs, but you can actually listen to the radio. In addition to that, of course, you have music servers and then Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. We'll check all that out, but there you go. Unboxed and beautiful. All right, let's begin the setup process. First thing you need to do if you do not already own SoundTouch products is go into you know, either the Apple Store or the Android Market. Download the SoundTouch app. This is the same app, again, that the SoundTouch 300 uses. Once that's complete, what we want to do here is I want to make note of a few things. You've got these little feet here, and they will line up right into those little grooves. What we're going to do is we're going to flip this backwards here. Now, once this is in place, basically, real simple, right? You want to take this bottom piece here. You guys can see that. And we're going to push this right into the sound Bose sound link option there. Once that's done, it's real simple. Got your power cord. Go ahead and put your power cord in. Now, if you do not have Wi-Fi at home, you are going to need to put an Ethernet cable in there, of course, and plug that into your router or modem, whatever you're using there. Other than that, you're ready to go. As far as Wi-Fi goes, again, I showed you it before, but there's the Wi-Fi button. And uh, we'll look at that now when we set this up. All right, so I powered it on. I plugged it in. This is what you want here. Bose SoundTouch app. Go ahead and hit open. As soon as you hit open, I want you to pay close attention to down here. It should be blinking. Now, when you press this, it starts to search. Okay. Once you have your account, it's going to ask you basically to agree to their policies. All right, so you agree to their terms. Let's get into the full setup. Now you want to open up your app and I'm going to go ahead and just do the screenshots so you can see them a little bit clearer. You're going to hit settings. Okay. Now on the next screen, you're going to see add or reconnect speakers. Go ahead and press that. Then you're going to choose, it's going to say, how would you like to connect? This is where you need to decide whether you're going to use Ethernet, which if you are, it needs to be plugged in at this point. We're using Wi-Fi, so go ahead and hit Wi-Fi. Once you hit Wi-Fi, it's going to tell you to wait, and it's going to go into setup mode. Go ahead and hit continue. Now, it's going to say select your speaker. This, by the way, is all the products that you can utilize all together with the SoundTouch system. So this is good to know, but we're looking for the Wave Radio. Go ahead and pick the Wave Radio. Once you pick the Wave Radio, it says prepare to connect button on the SoundTouch pedestal. Press and hold the control button until the Wi-Fi indicator turns solid amber. CE setup instructions appears on the display one to eight seconds. So again, I'll go ahead and I'll show you that right there. You hold that down, 
until that happens. Now on your screen, you're gonna get this, please wait. And I'm gonna show you the picture now. You're gonna see that light by the Wi-Fi. It's right above it. It's gonna be amber. It's gonna ask you to wait. Now, here's the part where you need to know your SSID, which is basically the name that your Wi-Fi router broadcast. Go ahead and put that in. The next thing you're gonna to need to know is your Wi-Fi password. So hopefully you have that. I know sometimes we don't, but go ahead and put that in. And next you're gonna hit connect. Okay, now it's gonna say connecting. It'll say that your speaker's Wi-Fi status indicator will show what's going on. So now I'll show you a picture of that. You can see how it kind of changed. It's gonna to come to name your speaker. Again, name it whatever you would like, wave radio, in this case, now you're gonna also, you know, you can put living room or whatever. This is important because when you have multi-room audio and you have multiple speakers, you wanna know which one you're broadcasting to because you can pick and choose which one. If you have five speakers, you don't have to broadcast to all five. You could do three or two or whatever. So go ahead and name it. And then it's gonna say, give us a minute to find it. And it's going to want you to do a software update, of course. Now this software update, depending on your speed, can take a little while, let it finish, don't stop it, don't shut it off, don't pull everything out or shut off your router during it because you don't want it to get screwed up, okay? Now, once that's complete, you're gonna get this picture as I you can see here and it shows you your wave radio and then you're gonna see a couple things. Now, you're gonna see source and you're gonna see the sound touch icon and then the Bluetooth icon. Okay, sound touch icon is basically you using, you know, the Wi-Fi services, meaning like example, Amazon Music, and I will also throw you a list of their list of supported services for Bose. Then you have Bluetooth. Bluetooth, any service you have, you can use. Now, people think that I could just connect to this because it's Bluetooth. Now, when I say just this, let me explain. Let's say I connect to my SoundTouch 300 through Bluetooth with my Google Music account, which is not supported by Bose. Once I am playing, now that is key here, you have to be playing something or it will not work, but you start your music, you press the Bluetooth, now your music's playing. If you scroll up, you can see here, there's a little icon that says play all. All of these speakers that are connected to your system, your SoundTouch 300, your Wave Radio, um, your sound touch 10, 20, 30, it will play that song to all of them. Awesome, right? You could rock your entire house. The next thing is, is watching movies. Sound touch 300, maybe you have a football game going and you want speakers out by your pool, you want them upstairs, you want them in your room, whatever it is in your kitchen, you can go ahead now and hit play all and it will put out the sound. But Keep in mind, adding these speakers does not turn your 5.1 surround sound system. So this, I'm saying the SoundTouch 300 with the virtually invisible speakers and with the Acoustamass is a 5.1 surround sound. If I add two of these, I add stereo sound. I do not make it a 7.1 or anything above that, okay? What is stereo sound? Well, stereo sound is a higher quality than like a mono sound, but it does not add into the overall aspects, but it does add volume. It's great for, again, if you're watching, let's just say football game and you're having a football party and you want it out by the pool, you want it in the kitchen, everyone can hear the game, or if you just want to increase the overall volume. I have found with this particular product, it does an amazing job of helping with voice, vocal. I know a lot of us have a hard time getting, you know, proper um, voice out of a lot of systems. So if you need, you know, a little harder of hearing or whatever it is, this is also great for that. But back to the SoundTouch 300. Okay, so now we got this set up. We're done at this point. Software updates done. It is now part of your all speakers. So what we can do now is we can start with our SoundTouch 300, okay? We're on our SoundTouch 300. Now we're gonna turn on our TV and we're gonna put on a movie. Now the movie's playing. All you gotta do is go ahead. Your source should be, the SoundTouch icon should be highlighted at this point and go ahead and hit play all. You now have 
whatever speakers, okay, whether it be this or your 10, 20, or 30, they're all playing at once and you are cranking. Now, in addition to that, this is a CD player and an alarm clock. It does come with a remote. Now, not all of us want to do Wi-Fi, and this is a great product on its own. It's a $600 product, okay? That's not the easiest thing to get over. Doesn't matter how much money you have, that's still a lot of money for a radio, right? So when I'm telling my wife, you know, I'm buying quite a bit of stuff for this channel, I just bought a, several you know, SoundTouch 300, Bose Sound 700, the 500 speakers. Now I'm saying I want to buy a $600 speaker. Well, my theory was it's been around since 1985. It has to be great, right? Well, I really didn't take into one thing. It has a CD player on it. The CD player, though, might seem dinosaur to some of us or some of you. It's something that I like and my wife has some CDs that she likes. So you have that option. When addition, you could do solo on this Wi-Fi, um, internet radio. There's thousands of channels they have, you know, Amazon Music, so on and so forth. So you have all the aspects covered. In addition to that, it is an alarm clock. It has dimming options, so it doesn't have to be too bright at night. It has this really cool feature where you could just touch the top. That could stop it, shut it off, stop the alarm. It does do two alarms, so one for husband, one for wife. You could play your favorite music. It does have six presets on there. Presets can be set to your favorite internet radio stations. It can be set to a CD that's in there that you like. So it's real easy, simple. You could just, boom, be on Amazon Music by being on your preset one example. You can also switch from Bluetooth and the SoundTouch Wi-Fi Direct with the remote control. Another thing to keep in mind, um, you can do the thumbs up and thumbs down to music that you like or dislike. This will help learn the music that you like and don't like. Um, and other than that, everything can be done from radio to CD to volume all on this remote. By the way, the remote batteries are built in. The back does have a magnet system on it and the magnet can be held on, you know, basically by your radio. Other than that, this so far is a great system. Now, I will say this, it is not an amazing system. When I compare this to the, the new speaker, the 500 speaker that I did a video on, the 500 speaker by Bose actually is way smaller than this. It does have Amazon Alexa built in, but believe it or not, it sounds amazing. I mean, I'm still like, whoa, this thing's just blowing my mind every day. But this sounds better than, first of all, almost any Bluetooth speaker I've ever heard. It definitely does fill the entire room. I mean, you can mistake this for a full stereo easily. It could actually be connected straight um, through auxiliary. You could connect it to just a TV as like a surround sound. It's not obviously by itself. There's so many different uses for it, but it is a phenomenal product and it all is done through waveguide technology. Waveguide technology, so you know real quick, I'll show you a photo. They're basically taking the sound and they're throwing it through channels. Now what this does, it doesn't, it's not just all about bass. It makes the sound fuller, giving you a full room experience. When in the past, especially these smaller systems, they, they could sound okay, but they did not feel the room. I mean, great for Christmas music or um, anything just around the house if you're having a dinner party. In addition to, if you wanna rock out and crank this thing, this sounds great also. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two things for you so you can hear. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn on my SoundTouch 300 and so we could hear um, so hard because of the rules on YouTube, they pull everything. Um, but we'll get some sound out of it. I'll put a um, copyright free song on for you so you can hear it out of this. And then I'll just play something through um, the TV, maybe a video game or something, so you could hear what it would sound like in addition to your system. So let's do that now. All right, so I went, I connected it to my Amazon account. Now, again, I don't have a lot of options because of copyright. So what we'll do is we'll do the Summer Breeze copyright free. Yes, YouTube, it's copyright free. I'll go ahead and post it here. Now, really quickly, if you can't see this, hopefully you can, I'll put up screenshots, but you'll be able to see, I have my SoundTouch 300 Master, 
I have the Sound Touch 10, and then I have the Wave Radio here. Now, under each now, you can see the Play All and you can see the other items. So Sound Touch and, and uh, Sound Touch 10.1 and Sound Touch 300. So if you were to start with the Master System 300, then you would go ahead and hit this. Remember, it has to be playing. Notice these are still, this is not blacked out, meaning you can't press play all on the SoundTouch 300, and you can't do it on the SoundTouch 10 because I don't have any music being played to it. But on this, I already connected it to Amazon, so you can see now that the SoundTouch icon is black, which means it's ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit play, so you can hear this. <laughs> quickly all the way up at a hundred it has no distortion it's not vibrating it's not rattling no distortion at all okay so now I hit pause and here is where you could either play all or pick so I'm just going to hit play all. Now, this is going to go through different rooms, but I'll kind of just show you how it works. When you hit play all, now I have volume control for each item, okay? So you have all my items here, and you could turn off play all, or you could turn up and down the other items. So when I hit play, I can turn down this speaker. Of course, you can't hear this, but it's rocking the rest of my house. Turn off play all. So now turn off play all is on. We're back to just this speaker. do is I'll go ahead and I'll just move this over into the other room and I'll give you one good sound test where you can hear everything put together and then we'll finish up the video but I want to say this right now it's if you got the cash and you're willing to spend it this is a must buy it's been around since 1985 for a reason it's a great product it's a high quality product it has everything you need. It doesn't work with the 700 right now, but it does work with the 300. It also makes a great individual item, especially if you own an apartment or a smaller house. You can literally just have this as your sound source because it gives you every option you need from radio to CD, uh, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and that's really all you got to do. And then again, you can even connect it to your TV for your sound. You can do that using Bluetooth through your TV. Like if you have the Samsung QLED series, you can just connect it through Bluetooth. Or again, it has the auxiliary port on the back. Let's go ahead and take one quick listen to it all. All right, so the copyright laws are very strict. So I'm gonna put on what I can so you can hear. First thing would be like if you were gonna watch TV or play a video game. I wanna clarify this is the SoundTouch 300, not the Bose 700. So currently I have it muted and Hopefully you can see this. If not, you would see that I have it on the SoundTouch 300 right now, and then I have the option to play all again. And what we're gonna run it through is the Wave and then the SoundTouch 10.1 along with the SoundTouch 300, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unpause this. I'm gonna hit play all. Okay. So now we have volume control of all three items. I'm not sure if you can hear this like I do, but wow, wow. It certainly makes a big difference having everything connected together. I mean, it just, even though it's not adding, making it a 7.1, you're getting a 
heavy increase in sound and it sounds very full. thing we'll do here is we'll go ahead and we'll play some music through everything. All right, so let's do first, I'll play the music through everything one more time. Again, same song, YouTube, Summer Breeze, copyright free. And then I will turn up and down the volume so you can hear the difference in fullness when everything's compared to just the wave radio by itself. Okay, so let's hit play. Now, we got everything. expensive but man they sure deliver another great product okay well that sums up the wave radio I just want to finish my video like I always do I want to remind each of you that life is so short don't forget to love your family love your neighbors take care of each other remember life is a beautiful thing and it's such a disgusting, sick and evil world. And the only people that can change the way things are going are us. Be there for each other. Go out today and do something good for someone. A kind gesture can change someone's day and it can mean so much to them. I want to thank each of you for spending this time with me. I am always so humbled and honored that you take your time out of your day to spend it with me. I hope you learned something and I hope I covered everything. If I missed anything, please, I do YouTube for you and you only. If you need me, reach me in the comments section. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at JB Tech Fanatic. I will reach out to you if you ask me a question, a sincere question. I try my hardest to get to everybody, but I want you to know that I am so thankful for you and that I just want you to enjoy life to its fullest. Thank you so much for joining me. I can't wait to see you in the next video and talk to you in the comments. And until then, love your family, and we'll see you later. And you guys take care.